You know, if you go to the movies, you'll see heroes as giant, muscular men that constantly uh, beat back evil. But in real life, the real heroic things are done sometimes by small people in stature. In 1955, there was a young girl, and I don't know her age for sure, but I've seen dozens of pictures. I would say that she was 18, 19, or 20 when this happened. It was Rosa Parks in Montgomery, Alabama, and she rode a bus into history that day. In 1955, African Americans were so wrongly required to give up their seats to whites. But Rosa was the one, small in stature, a young girl, a young woman, she refused. And so she was arrested. But her personal protest against injustice ignited the civil rights movement in the United States. Her philosophy was powerfully simple. These are her words. Listen to this. This young woman said, I don't waste too much time thinking about my problems. I just look around to see what I can do, and then I do it. Wow. It has been said, conquering any difficulty gives us one secret joy. For it means pushing back a boundary line and adding to one's liberty. Difficult times call for difficult measures. But often we sit back and we think about it and that it builds a fear inside of us. And fear begets more fear and anxiety then. And anxiety is a poor counselor. So if you think you can't make changes in your world, think again. And while you're at it, remember this young woman, small in stature, Rosa Parks. Let her story inspire you. And then Summon the courage in your own life to make big changes. Rosa did it, and so can you. And I end with the Bible, Psalms 34, verse 19. People who do what is right have many problems, but the Lord will solve them all.